Hello, we're back. Okay, apparently we got to do stuff here. Fine, let's do it. Defeat your opponent. Yay, I guess. Every thief will need to step forward. We created an immense amount of effort. However, seemed to proceed unfazed, the show off. Eventually, my eyes were greeted by something beyond my own imagination. It was the answer to 2 plus 2. <gasps> yes. Now it is an astral vision or every time in space. It is caught by a great power that flows over the earth and the evil dispersed by the evil seed. Sure. To get a living, you will tame the power of the astral fissure. Naturally, it's easier said than Dan. Yep. Nature fissures experience an ice amount of voids that will either destroy and one week who dares approach you to turn them to mouth yes, did. Ever with some of my great power approaches. Oh my. The flash of light will bring with it a visitor. La 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 la. I just said they're surprised. Looks like you gotta find in your hands. Sure. Rah, 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 rah. <coughs> rah, rah. Battle one. Fine. I will defeat him with great prejudice. Okay. I'm button mashing. I'm happy. That was nice. <gasps> I'm so happy for now. But, and isn't that what matters most? Sure, Jan. Oh, okay. He had to burst into particles of light that soon faded. Those fiendish warriors, berserkers, appear when this strong approach in astral fissure, perhaps in response to their power. Cool. Berserkers come from the memories of warriors who sought strength. To defeat them, you must simply must be stronger. There is no other way. Whenever you contain phenomenal power from the fissure, which will enable you to continue living and provide resistance to actual chaos, attempt to devour your soul. If you couldn't stand the astral chaos, you'll no longer have to fear for your life. Now claim the power from the astral vision. Encouraged by Zathrama, I thrust my arm into the astral fissure. The thing was, he was lying. He was a colossal dick and my arm blew off. A surge of light burst forth from my stump, flowing through my arms and into my body. I proceeded to pee myself. My heart pounded as my body began to burn feverishly. My heart exploded and a xenomorph burst from my chest. Okay. Thankfully, someone who looked exactly like me appeared to take over the story mode so we could continue playing. As long as scouty evil on the earth's power remain, astral fissures will continue to appear. I hear there is another astral fissure on the outskirts of a village to the southeast. That is all I can tell you. Before you go, take this. The soul reeled a set of scales, on top of which fluttered one blue flame and one red flame. Put them together, you get one purple flame. These are spirit scales. Other than their eyes known as the Libra of Soul. Take them. Ah, now the name makes sense. Your body is overflowing with energy from the astral chaos. It is the power of chaos, set of order. You say the so. The state of your soul will determine which power you draw from. These scales will build you which way your soul is leaning. It should help you to maintain control. Sure. Now you must embark on a journey to save your life so long. If I must. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm, level up! And we finally got money. Level up! Level up! Yay! What did we get? Mm. Oh, it's just the thingy ma doodle. Chapter 1. The journey begins. How original! The blades of fate. Now what? Nightmare! Did, didn't we see these already? Oh wait, right, it's supposed to be our nightmares replaying. Sword mine, gimme. 
You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a clock, baby. I open my eyes to an impossible sight. I was floating in a vast space, the ground was nowhere to be seen, and the sky stretched out into infinity. Even chunks of masonry floated nearby, a broken pillar from a temple, a half-collapsed house, a fallen tower, structures of every shape and size, from every corners of the globe! And at the center of it all was an enormous whirlpool of light. I watched a colossal building was drawn into a brick, ripping from the mortar and accelerating into a brilliant glow. A piece of rubble made contact and dispersed into utter silence. The light captivated me with its beauty, but at the same time, it was fi it filled my heart with dread. Little by little, the terrible light was drawing the end. Struggle as I might, I could not break free of its uh, inexorable grasp. <sighs> slowly, slowly, the distance between us shrank. Maybe it was destiny for my soul to become entwined with the astral chaos. Sure, Jan. Yeah, thank you. But I will not submit my destiny or allow myself to be consumed by that bright harbinger of the air. I need strength. The strength to defy my fate. <sighs> the light drew near and suddenly two swords appeared before me. I reached out to grab the floating blades, but a voice broke the silence. Those who deny their strength must make a choice. If you value freedom and wish for the power to pursue your own path, choose the Golden Sword. If you honor the virtues of harmony and reason and wish for the powers to bring order to a chaotic wor world, choose the Azure Sword. Do you remember which one was which? Uh, I'm pretty sure Golden Sword is Soul Edge. This is, I'm pretty sure, Soul Calibur. I'm pretty sure, too. Wanna go for Soul Calibur? Sure. B wait a minute. What? I don't remember Soul Edge being gold, do you? It's kind of like a reddish gold thing. Eh, fair enough. Sure. Let's go with Reach for the Azure Sword. Grasped the Azure Sword and felt a wave of peace over me. My mind tranquil, my senses sharp. I raised the blade high, then struck the swift blow with the swirly light! The scales are tipped towards good. Cool. During your journey, you will sometimes find yourself faced with momentous decisions that can change your fate. These traits affect the theme story now to the balance of fairy scales. A mystical artifacts are represent your soul. You may even lack an admissions depending on how the scales are tipped. Okay. Cool. I guess. Partner some command. Okay. Ring out disabled. Okay. Hey, you, you look yeah. You wanna be careful swinging your up when I like that by yourself. Have you made it up for you, man? Eat your drinks. Excuse me. Barely conscious, I couldn't tell if the nightmare had ended. A shadow of what looked like an enemy waved in front of me. Wavered in front of me, one of that seemed robust, strong, and iron. And sexy. And looked a lot like Bruce Lee. I ready my weapons. My only escape from the nightmare was to fight. Hey there, I'm not like all right. I like my gut and she eyes. So, given that I didn't see a Bruce Lee movie till I was in college and I'd played a lot of these games prior to that, I didn't realize just how many Bruce Lee characters. Like, it's a rule for there to be a Bruce Lee homage in fighting games, I swear. Okay. In fact, technically speaking, Chie, I mean, because there's a Persona fighting game, is a Bruce Lee homage. I hate this. What? I hate this information so much. Mm hmm. Because Max sees a Bruce Lee homage. Um, Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat's a Bruce Lee homage. I'm sure there's more, but honestly, there are very few fighting games that I've actually played, guys, so I can't really, you know, expand upon that. Yay! We didn't lose horribly. 
Yeah. 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 Actually, the answer is it was. Other than nightmare, I've been fighting for real. When I came to, a friendly at uh, someone heroic looking man was standing before me. Hey, Maxi, where you go, I? I told Maxi my name. Help me, now it's now. Don't worry, I ain't gonna see all your possessions or anything. If you say so. Yeah, you, know, you got skill. But as an apology for attacking me out of nowhere, I won't listen to what I gotta say. There's nothing bad, just a GL offer. Well, job, Arthur. According to Maxi, the residents of the nearby village suddenly vanished one day. At the same time, a mysterious hole formed nearby. Kinky. From which strange creatures had started to emerge. The village had believed it was uh, these creatures who had attacked the village and, and, ordered, uh, the, and ordered that they be found and exterminated. Sweet, we're exterminating the missing villagers. Yes. I don't know how much hell. I agreed to hell. But they want me to take care of the whole as well as the creatures. Anyway, when I think about it, some help. I ran into you. The word's juicier than our ass deck. How about the 50 50 split? What's that? Mysterious hole sounded like an astral fissure. When I asked Maxi where it was, he pointed towards the direction I was heading, and I decided to accept his offer. I don't know. I'm over the spot now. With a self-assured grin, he extended his head, and in the spirit of solidarity, I grasped it firmly. It was very soft, I could tell he moisturized. Mm. I bet his hands could grip other things. I'm going... I'm going to put your head in a vice, sunshine. Kinky. Yeah, you're doing some weird shit. <laughs> when do I not do weird shit, Luke? The campsite. As though, as someone who had traveled the world, Maxi had a lot of stories to tell on her journey. Most of them could not be repeated in order to maintain the decency and rating of this game. Oh, yeah, nowadays is a crazy top. To the west of the continent, some lords only went nuts. In another town, there was a massacre that wiped out the entire population. Who knows who what caused it? Even we were attacked once by a bunch of creeps with red eyes. That's racist. Maxie was a captain of a pirate crew who was venturing around the globe, yet he didn't speak in the an aggressive or threatening tone. Yeah, I forgot to ask. What's giving you the travel bug, Fluffy? Uh, wary, wary of saying too much, I mentioned that there was something I needed to take care of that the astral feature created by the evil seed. Never heard of it. Some of my crew might know something, though. Excuse me. I'll ask around. And I'm being, they're gonna turn him on the day. See you bright and early tomorrow. Lazy motherfucker. Okay. What the? Okay, this is really starting to get old, you piss taker. Yep. Do, 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 Gasp! I woke up with a splitting headache. It reminded me of the nightmare from the green in my mind. What's up? You were calling out your sleep. You drink up. Oh, thank you, but alcohol. It's only, you know, it's only thick I am, but let's get plastered. I think Maxie had told him it was nothing. My head had, my headache had subsided, but I wasn't going to be getting any more sleep. Was that it? Okay, now there's a battle. Yay. Hold on. There in my travels with Maxi. Suddenly, I heard a voice behind me. When I turned, I, there was a young man standing with his mail at his face. He gave me a small nod. My name is Joey. I have the top percentage of Rattata. Let's fight. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. You know I don't make eye contact with strangers. <laughs> that That's what he says now. <laughs> Place, if you have the time, just write that over it. I'm Joey. My ratata is top percent. The youngster way of life is. I actually don't remember the line. Tragic. Oh my gosh. Oh, the youngster way of life is the one that makes sense. Yeah, we are. You do. I'm Joey. Yes, my name is. Yes, my name is Joey! I heard there was-
was others who accepted the mission, so I thought I would introduce myself and my Rattata. Hi, hey, I'm Max. This is my partner in crime, Fluffy. Your name is now Rattata. I have a suggestion. How about we join forces? Well, I signed up for this mission. My intent was only to save those in trouble, but I have no problem with splitting the rewards with you. I do. Sounds like a plan, but I'm gonna have to your skills first. You game? I'm Joey! Of course I'm game. Let's begin! So, of course, we're probably the ones who are gonna to have to fight him. Yep, that's how it works. Lazy cocksucking motherfucker. <laughs> Eventually. Waiting. We are waiting. Yep. Yeah, fuck you, Maxi. Ow. Hey! No button mashing while I'm button mashing. Woo! That's right. Get up! Get up, I'm not done with you! <laughs> you are nothing but little toy to me. I kick your ass from here to Wednesday. That is right, you little baby pissat. And I kick you. I kick you! That is right, I'm anime protagonist who also happens to be Darksiders protagonist too. Okay. I yes. have accent now, even though I never had. This sounds like a really fucked up fan fiction right now. I will fuck you up. <laughs> if you read the right fan fiction. I'll fuck you! <laughs> ah, you win! I must say, your aggressive style is impressive! Yeah, I don't know about yourself. When you pick up those snaps <laughs> Pretty in City! Uh, now, Viridian City, along with my brother. To be honest, I thought I'd fare better against you. I, uh, I feel like it would be me asking you to join my voice. Let's start a gym together. You're with me, right, Fluffy? Yeah, sure. Let's keep him around. Unless you want to get rid of him. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Is that all? Uh, you're on the team. Well, gonna more. It's pronounced Joey. Yeah. Well, uh... Thank you. It's the sign of our new friendship. How about one of uh? What about one of Castilla City Cones? No one should fight on an empty stomach. I no. hope I said that name right. Oh yeah. Come on, Fluffy. Dig in. Pokemon reference. <laughs> That's an episode. Okay. Well, now that we've actually started, it's starting to get fun. Yay! We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, food defects some... Okay. Bye-bye.